In the last video, we added four text boxes and labels to the user form, and now we're going to add two buttons down at the bottom. One button will take the data that we've entered in those text boxes and put it into the database that we created on our worksheet, and the other button will close the form. So we're going to make a little room at the bottom, so I'm going to point to this handle at the bottom of the form and drag it down so there's about a half inch at the bottom where we can add our buttons. Going back to the toolbox, I'll click on that to activate it. This time we want a command button, so I'll click on it and then click toward the left side at the bottom of the user form. One click will add a standard size command button. I'll move the toolbox out of the road and now we can see the name of that button and I'm going to change its name. This will be the button to add the data to the database. Double click on the name and instead of command button one, I'll call it CMD add. And for the caption, we don't want it to say command button one. I'm going to double click here for the caption and we'll type add this part and press enter. So that's our first button. We need another button at the side that will close the form. So I'll go back to the toolbox again, click the command button, and then click on the user form just to the right of the add button. And for this button, I double click on its name property and call this CMD close. And for the caption, close. The next step is to add the code that runs when you click one of the buttons. And you can find the sample code in the user guide. So go in there, and copy the code. We're going to do the add button first. So copy that code and then we'll paste it into this workbook. To do that, I'm going to right click and click view code. And that shows two lines, private sub command add click and end sub. You'll find the code in the appendix of the user guide. You're going to copy everything except the private sub and end sub. So select starting with dim I row as long and go down to the me text part set focus. Copy that with control C and then go back to the user form. Press control and V as a shortcut to paste the code that you copied. Some of the lines turn green. They start with an apostrophe and those are comments in the code. Next we want to add code to the close button. So to show the form again, I'll go to view object. Right click on the close button and click view code and here's the command close code. All we have to do is get the form to close. There's only one line of code to put in here and you can copy it from the user guide or just type here it's unload space me and that will just unload the form. And now to go back to the form we could use the view menu or just double click on the form in the Project Explorer. We're going to test it, and to do that, I'll click on the form to select it, go to the Run menu, and we have a Run Sub User Form command. There's a shortcut, which is F5, and this triangle button is also on the toolbar if you want to use it from there. So I'll click Run Sub User Form, and that opens up the user form where we can see the four fields and the two buttons. So I'm going to put in a test record and see how it goes. So I'll type in a part number one, two, three, four, five. To go to the next field, I can click in it or press the tab key. And this will go into store one. And I press tab to go to the date. I'll type eight slash one. I don't need to add the year. Excel will be able to figure that out as long as it's the current year. And I'll tab and enter a quantity of 100. Now I want to add this to the database. So there's nothing in the table right now. As soon as I click this, we should see this information on the worksheet and all of these fields cleared out. So I'll click add this part and there's the information. So it went into the database correctly. I could add another part if I wanted to, but I'm going to just click close and close the user form. And that takes us back to the Visual Basic editor and the test went well. So we're ready for the next step, which is finishing the workbook.